In the past, augmented reality has failed to capture its original promises and hype. But right now we are in a second renaissance with hardware quickly becoming small and fast enough to actually enable stylish and useful augmented reality glasses for consumer use. Just last month, Facebook released what some might consider to be the first good-looking smart glasses, and now, the company that along with Google, promised the most and delivered the least during 2014's AR hype cycle. Magic Leap is now intending to publish their second version of the Magic Leap glasses, and what specialists consider to be the first look into what future AR devices could look like. Magic Leap has secured $500 million in investment and plans to deliver a new augmented reality headset, the Magic Leap 2, next year, according to the company's announcement on Monday. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you what this next generation gadget will look like, what capabilities it will possess, and finally, how the future is of augmented reality is going to be changed by this completely new form factor and what companies are right at Magic Leap's heel. Magic Leap, an augmented reality startup, unveiled its first gadget, the Magic Leap 1 in 2018 after considerable excitement. It didn't exactly set the tech world on fire, with plenty of change in the years afterwards, including the appointment of new CEO Peggy Johnson last year. Today, Johnson teased the first glimpse of what is most certainly Magic Leap 2. Johnson published a LinkedIn post with a very cropped photograph of the new device, stating that she'd be giving more details on CNBC's show today. While a single photograph does not show much, the new device appears to be smaller and more elegant than Magic Leap's previous generation AR headset. The design factor appears to be more in line with other AR gear makers, opting for a more trendy smart glasses approach to help broaden its appeal. While it may not be the Magic Leap 2, the information available so far suggests that it is the follow-up gadget. The former Microsoft and Qualcomm executive joined Magic Leap in 2020, and the company said earlier this year that the initial rollout of Magic Leap 2 will take place by the end of 2021. We've made the product half the size, around 20% lighter, she stated at the time, which fits with this image. Those in Magic Leap's early adopter program will get initial access, which is expected in quarter 4 of this year, with public availability in quarter 1 of 2022. Today, perhaps, the firm will finalize some of those features and possibly even announce a pricing for its next gadget. It's probable that in the future, we'll encounter XR in ways we can't yet conceive. But, for the time being, there are plenty of impending technological breakthroughs to look forward to. VR technology will be quicker, lighter, and more cheap. Furthermore, advancements in smartphone technology, such as improved cameras and processors, will allow us to enjoy more seamless AR and VR experiences on our phones. And, thanks to 5G wireless networks, we'll be able to enjoy them no matter where we are on the planet. How many times have you passed past a retail window display and fallen in love with something? Most of the time, this item is a costly purchase, and selecting whether to buy or not depends on a number of variables. First and foremost, it looks fantastic on display, but how does it appear on a real person? Many manufacturers will incorporate augmented reality AR, capability in their mobile devices, allowing you to aim your camera at any item and not only receive the required information about it, but also view AR photos of models wearing the items. This way, you'll have all of the information you need to make an informed selection without even entering the store. The retail sector isn't far behind either. For example, Sephora's mobile app has a feature called the Virtual Artist, which lets consumers to try on several lipsticks using their front camera. If they like what they see, they may put it in their virtual shopping cart and pay with their phone. Virtual Artist has currently been attempted 45 million times. We used to have a lot of textbooks, loose-leaf papers, posters, and other tangible print things while we were in school. All instructional materials will be dynamic, digitized, and accessible at all times thanks to augmented reality. Because teachings may be delivered in a gaming style, more individuals will have access to education, as well as a better degree of student involvement. You may also say goodbye to field visits to the museum or art gallery since, due to AR, the museum and art gallery will come to you and be available at all times. These are only a few of the potential applications of augmented reality in education, which will undoubtedly change the educational process. 
If the last several years of new reality tech have taught us anything, it's that tech companies won't be able to skip through the uncomfortable phase of augmented reality. They'll have to blast through it, and it'll probably take a long time. The most obvious fact is that in 2021, regular people do not appear to be as interested in AR as the next generation of platform owners stand to gain from a huge transformation. The soothsayers who believe AR is the inevitable platform successor have some aspect of skating to where the puck is going, but the struggle to reinvent mobile is, at its core, a war to kill the smartphone before its time has come. Both Facebook and Apple have a number of challenges in releasing AR goods to the public, and they aren't minor ones, hardware isn't ready. Platforms are not yet ready. Developers are not prepared. Users aren't interested in it yet. This is a formidable barrier, but it is not unusual among hardware moonshots. Facebook has previously been through this cycle with virtual reality through multiple generations of technology, but there were some important differences, and few would call VR a mainstream success just yet. Nonetheless, there is a distinct advantage for both Facebook and Apple in tackling VR before AR. They can invest in hardware that is adjacent to the technologies that their AR products will need to capitalize on, they can entice developers to build for a platform that is more similar to what's coming, and they can set baseline expectations for consumers for a more immersive platform. At least for Apple, a mass-market VR device closer to Facebook's $300 Quest 2 might match the requirement, but a costly niche product, as German's article shows, doesn't appear to fit the description nearly as neatly. The scenario I believe both Facebook and Apple are worried about is releasing usable AR gear into a world where they are solely responsible for developing all of the major use cases. The AR industry already has a large backlog of disgruntled developers who, although long-term believers in the technology, are tired of being tossed around by businesses who appear to regard the development of content ecosystems as a method to sell their next gadget. If Apple genuinely expects the gadget sales statistics to be akin to Valve's early index headset sales, I doubt there will be much developer interest in creating for a stopgap device. Instead, I'd anticipate ports of Quest 2 content and a few shining stars from Apple-funded partners. Despite recent unfavorable headlines, Facebook remains popular and has a massive reach across its platforms, with over 1.3 billion Messenger users, 2 billion on Facebook, and 800 million on Instagram. Facebook aims to make augmented reality available to the general public, and with their massive reach, they already have a leg up. People can explore with AR using apps they currently have, Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger, and they clearly anticipate to extend beyond face fighters. Some Facebook marketers are being given unique access to test out advertisements with special effects using the Touch It to try it on features. If you want to view how a pair of sunglasses appears on your face, you may do it virtually using augmented reality. With the recent announcement of the release of ARKit 2.0, the third iteration of Apple's developer platform for AR apps, the firm is increasing its commitment to the technology. According to Bank of America Merrill Lynch, Augmented reality will be a $8 billion business potential for Apple. AR apps, which will fetch a price premium, are projected to be one of the drivers of Apple's growth, as are increased iPhone sales as a result of the new technology. As you may have predicted from the information above, augmented reality is already firmly ingrained in our daily lives, and many companies are rushing to capitalize on all of the benefits. AR will make all of our routine activities obsolete in the future. For example, if you're bored with your commute to work, there will be plenty of immersive entertainment options. In reality, the workplace, as you are aware, will cease to exist in the future. Your workplace, meetings, computer, and other resources will be accessible from anywhere in the globe, removing the need to commute. Magic Leap's primary business is corporate solutions, according to Johnson, but there continues to be significant interest in the use of Magic Leap's technology in the consumer sector. Indeed, they have had numerous requests to license their technology, and they will actively pursue these possibilities if they strengthen their position and capacity to develop in the enterprise sector. However, maybe don't expect it to be available at a consumer price. Magic Leap is strongly focused on the enterprise sector, pushing organizations to adopt augmented reality, whether for training, collaboration, design, or any other purpose. So, what is your opinion on Magic Leap's new augmented reality glasses? Are they in a form factor you're comfortable with or do you think they should decrease in size before you'd start wearing them outside of professional environments? 
What new kids of applications will arrive through this new type of device? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.